Hey, what's up you guys? David here once again for another video review. And before we get started, I wanted to talk about the More Smiles for Gala t-shirt that we just released as a limited edition. So thanks so much to everybody who got this t-shirt. It means so much to me. Make sure to tag me and I'll retweet it and all that good stuff if you got one of these. It's still on sale for a very short amount of time, so it's in the link in the description below. Along with that, I also have a second channel if you did not know. So if you wanna go check out a more personal look at everything with myself and with my girlfriend, go there now. So thanks so much for supporting me on both channels. Let's get on to the review. Being a gamer nowadays is almost tough with the countless choices we have. New games come out all the time and we have to decide which ones to play. However, one game keeps me coming back all the time and that is still Forza Horizon 3. Forza Horizon 3 was incredibly anticipated and for good reason, new landscape and really cool things to do. However, a new expansion pack just came out that was, well, questionable. A lot of people thought this was a stupid idea. Well, I'm here to tell you that the Hot Wheels expansion pack for Forza Horizon 3 is a breath of fresh air. With so many racing games doing the exact same thing of upgrading your car, do a race, repeat, Forza Horizon 3 decided to do something completely out of the box and, well, unexpected. When the trailer came out, we all said, are you serious? Is this a joke? There's no way that they're gonna do this. And there you have it, they did it. The Hot Wheels expansion pack is beautiful. By beautiful, I don't mean normal landscapes, but the tracks themselves resemble actual pieces of Hot Wheels track you can buy at the store. They really try to make this believable as possible, but not taken too seriously. Cranes are everywhere in the area, showing that they're constantly changing the track, just like a child changing the track at home. And each piece is like a real piece. The blue pieces connect, and the orange pieces are where you go. I always wondered as a little kid, what does it really look like being in the car if this was real? And a few stunt drivers out there in real life have replicated this with Hot Wheels challenges. I guarantee you if you're a car person you played with Hot Wheels as a kid. It's really cool driving inside the car and being on top of the track you might have built years ago. You have everything from jumps to loops to corkscrews, you name it. There's so much cool stuff to do. There's also new cars added to the roster. There's also the twin mill. The twin mill is probably the highlight car in the pack. And by the way, the twin mill is a real thing. I saw it at SEMA a few years back and I couldn't believe that they achieved this with two engines. It sounds nasty and it's a lot of fun to drive. Also, they added the Zinfo, a car mostly forgotten by people unless they think about the time it caught on fire on Top Gear, but it's still really fun to drive in the game. It makes 1300 horsepower fully built so you can't argue with that. But with the loops and the corkscrews and everything else, it's a very surreal environment driving the Hot Wheels expansion. And for people who didn't think there was enough drifting in Forza Horizon 3, well, this is pretty much the hardest drifting you're ever gonna do. Especially in the Mustang that was added in the Hot Wheels pack. The Hot Wheels Mustang is essentially a car that does rolling burnouts everywhere and is extremely hard to control but that's what makes it fun. There is the obvious Forza Horizon 3 things to do such as the speed cameras and speed zones and drift zones. However it's added with such a new twist with terrain change and camber change that it really throws you off. It's actually really weird if you go off track and drive on normal land again or normal sand again. It's almost like well uh well, this is odd. The terrain has completely changed and the traction is completely different on the track than it is on the street or in the sand or the forest. They even added mechanical dinosaurs to this expansion pack, which speaks to the little paleontologist of my heart. They really added a sense of scale and wonder to this. The T-Rex, for example, is giant. And when you look off into the distance and see all the different types of tracks you can drive, you can't help but be excited to go conquer the next area. The challenges are actually really fun to do, and you get medals by doing different races. Instead of just doing a fan system like normal Horizon 3, they just simply have you gain medals, and it's that simple. And you move on to the next class. One other thing that resembles a real Hot Wheels track is, well, watching out for other cars and not colliding like a crazy Hot Wheels track. 
AI cars are everywhere, which is a good and a bad thing in my opinion. When you're hauling ass around a corner and getting hit with a speed booster, you don't really want anybody in front of you, but it happens often and can send you off the track a lot. Speaking of the speed boosters, they are one of my favorite things about the Hot Wheels expansion. Look at it, it's a freaking supercharger powering the entire system. You hear it burbling and backfiring as you sit next to it. Even the loading screens are beautiful and magnificent with nothing that bores you. You look at that piece of track and go, wait, have I done that one yet? I need to find that. One of my other favorite things about the Hot Wheels expansion is the half pipe sections. No, you can't really pull Tony Hawk and catch air and come back down, but it adds an interesting kind of mindset going around the half pipe. How are you going to take the angle? Are you going to try to drift it? How fast are you going to go? Can you stay inside it? Let's see what happens. I constantly found myself going, wait, what cars in real life look like Hot Wheels cars? Because I felt like I had to match the scene. If I drove more like a normal car, like a Civic or an Evo or whatever, I didn't think it was crazy enough. Every time I drove the Hot Wheels tracks, I felt like I needed just something so ridiculous and wild, like the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, for example, or an old Mercury with a giant blower hanging out of the hood. It felt appropriate and it matched the scene, and that makes you feel pretty cool. But at the same time, you feel as though you need a very fast car in the Hot Wheels expansion pack. If you don't, a lot of the times your gearing will run out if you hit one of the speed boosters and then you're just banging off the rev limiter the entire time. That can get a little weird because sometimes you'll go around a loop and you'll feel the car losing momentum. So then you have to downshift or upshift accordingly. They really thought about the physics in this. Also, if you get stuck on a piece of track that is slanted or downward and you're not going fast enough, you are pretty much screwed, just like you would be in real life. You need the momentum to keep going. It is really hard to get started once you're stuck, so thank God for Forza Rewinds, seriously. One of my favorite areas is the skyscraper section, which reminds me a lot of the Surfer's Paradise in Forza Horizon 3. But instead of having actual roads, it looks like a kid built it, essentially, and has Hot Wheels track all the way around. It is a little refreshing going to the city because it's more flat ground and you can drift around and whatnot. Also, there are barn finds in this one as well, which adds a lot to it. If you fly off the track though, you're gonna have a hard time finding your way back. A lot of the times if you fall in the woods, you're just gonna wanna fast travel everywhere, which is a no-brainer in this game. So would I recommend the Hot Wheels expansion? Absolutely, it's really different. If you want a nice change of pace in a racing game, don't take it too seriously. Have some fun, have some nostalgia, and you'll have a great time. The physics are great, the cars are a lot of fun, and your imagination pretty much never ends with this one. Thank you all so much for watching this video review. Don't forget to subscribe and take it easy, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.